hello everyone so now let's uh, discuss about uh, the answer writing and the techniques so let me start sharing my screen so here we go so uh, today we will uh, uh, we'll discuss about the 2023 answer writing and also the main stress series session as many of the students had requested uh, so it is like presented by me presented by me jay jordan so i have uh, attended the personality test and also I given mains twice and I also done uh, 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 masters and PhD from IRI division of genetics and also I have uh, got uh, rank 8 in the junior research fellowship and senior research fellowship I have also got uh, two times a resnet and uh, written authored many books of uh, plant breeding and six science so uh, here we can we will also discuss about uh, the techniques and before that uh, we, uh, if anyone is interested they can also text me or tell me about the uh, regarding the main series or notes or uh, regarding the daily answer writing or mentorship whichever they need so uh, the first question which we will discuss today is that what is molecular marker what are the features along with their application so this is a very prominent question and uh, you can be sure that uh, uh, at least uh, there is high chance that it will be asked every year in some or the other form okay so when i interact with the main students so like around 20 students were there in, the, in this phase of the preparation the last two months so when you look at the definition of the uh, the concept uh, it's not uh, like much appealing so uh, first thing you need to work on the definition make it very clear to the examiner that you know know the concept so for example you see what is molecular marker a molecular marker is a fragment of dna that is associated with a certain location within the genome it is unique occurring in proximity to the gene of interest this is the keyword it is unique it is occurring proximity to the gene of interest so what the examiner sees in you is that uh, are you writing the keywords so if you write the keywords you get good marks if you don't write the keywords you're going to lose the marks that is the uh, essence so if you write all these things uh, like something else and you don't write that it is near, uh, located in the proximity of the gene of interest then you may not get good marks okay so that is the concept so uh, like in case of uh, occurring in proximity to the gene of interest or the locus of uh, uh, locus of interest uh, for example you should have a diagram for example as it is shown a dna strand so the green one which is there depicts the gene of interest and the flags which are there the red flags which are there they are what are they one minute okay uh, so the green thing is the gene of interest and the flags which are there on both side of the dna stand they are the flags that are the markers so the the gene of the markers are located on either side of the gene of interest so that is the major concept so you can draw a diagram small diagram then it will make the examiner clear that you are properly understanding the definition second so in that question they have also asked about the features of ideal dna marker so what are the ideal uh, features so these are the keywords like the polymorphic they are co-dominant they are non-epistatic they are multi-allelic they are neutral they are insensitive to environment so what do you mean by polymorphic see when this will just occupy you half page in the page it will just occupy half page uh, your answer and your note should be like this it should be very 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 clear like polymorphic it should tend to look different from it should be able to differentiate different individuals that's it codominance 
it should be able to differentiate homozygotes and heterozygotes. That's it. So non-epistatic, multi-allelic. Uh, uh, it should be uh, neutral. Neutral means it means that the allelic substitution at the marker locus do not alter the phenotype of an individual. And the marker should be insensitive to the environment. Whatever the environment it is, there, it should be insensitive to the environment. So these are the major things and these are the keywords and just the type of definition. So uh, when you write, you should write the important markers. Like for example, in plan, uh, in markers we have RFLP, AFLP, RAPD. Just define it also because uh, in the exam writing the short form is not much accepted. Uh, and presently now we are using SNP markers or the SNP markers. So uh, such things. Out of this, there are some important things in markers like AFLP, RFLP, SSR, and SNP, which is routinely used in the plan reading. So if you write them, then uh, you will have some good credit. Next is the application. So in case of application, uh, the assessment of genetic diversity in cultivars or gen plus question and advanced breeding material. Okay. Uh, for example, in case of evolutionary studies, this uh, markers can be used. Uh, you should write an example, substantiate, like in case of triticum is uh, evolution. Uh, we can also use these markers to study them, how they, uh, how they have evolved. The phylogenetic studies can be done. The next is for the negative selection. For the particular trait of interest, it can be used as a negative selection tool and also identification of plant varieties so uh, in case of ppvfr for varietal identification this is a very important tool earlier we used to use rflp and now they are using ssr markers so if you are able to substantiate this even not only here even in gs then you will get good credit or good marks next is mapping of qpls uh, the which is not possible by any of the conventional technique and also dna fingerprinting DNA fingerprinting means that variety is fingerprinted so that nobody can uh, uh, like use it in a wrong manner. So just write DNA fingerprinting in crop varieties to avoid to protect the plant breeder. Means the sentence should be like this. Next is introgression of genes from wild gene pyramiding. Like for example, in case of uh, improved Pusa Basmati one, how it is utilized and identifying the heterotic combination for use in hybrids. Uh, molecular markers permit the identification of putative resistant plants. And also it can be used in case of uh, estimating the G into E interaction. That is the genotype into environment interaction, how they can uh, create different uh, population. So uh, I'm just showing you how you have to write, keep it very crux and write the key and important points. Next is like uh, some questions like loss of Mendel's, they may ask. So if they ask, you have to write the uh, correct definition. Like if they ask about law of segregation, uh, I see many students write many different things. So, but what you need to write is the two values of a gene present in F1. For example, here you see A1 and A2 present in FN do not contaminate each other, but they undergo separation and pass into different gametes in their original form, original form producing two different types of gametes in their form, original form. So uh, your definition should be very clear uh, law or it is called the law of purity of gametes. So such definitions and such keywords should be clearly written by you even for the law of uh, independent assortment. So you will find these questions repeatedly asked. Even this year also, there is a lot of possibility of being asked. So for example, another is like, uh, I gave the example, I want to give the example of why DNA is a genetic material. This is also asked. So whatever uh, the many students wrote the answer for that question in the group, you would have seen. Uh, but those who have not written the uh, what you call the keyword that is the absence of two dash oh group then they will definitely get less marks so don't write uh, that key point then whatever you would have written will go in vain so next is the like the genetic basis of heterosis physiological and molecular basis of heterosis so this question is also asked repeatedly and in the last year also asked and this year i'm expecting they may ask the genetic basis of heterosis so uh, here also uh, the questions are not difficult 
but the point should be there proper three three uh, three headings should be there physiological places you have five different points like the net assimilation rate the root growth and the amount of photosynthesis produced so such five points should be clearly defined in your mind and you should be able to substantiate it then only you will get good credit and good marks so this is like one of my uh, uh, like the aspirant who has written the uh, he used to write answers in the group which is a free initiative so here he used to write this was his first answer you can see how he had written the first answer so he had written in the point wise format so after this was like just two months back then and after two months he improved a lot by the suggestions he improved a lot and now you can see how he has written the answer just two days back regarding the pesticide formulation so this is what is a transition which everyone has to go through and if you do this then nobody can stop you from getting good marks okay here you can see how definition is given how examples clearly he has mentioned so don't you think uh, there is a significant difference so this is what is the change you need to expect so also go for value addition in all the points which you are discussing so if i tell about the conservation agriculture right the varieties if you want to tell about some uh, uh, major concepts there the biological control i have particular examples ready with you uh, to substantiate everything you'd say this is not only for the um, optional but also for gs also similar thing should be made make good amount of notes make a very systematic amount of the previous year question uh, analyze the previous year question and make all the notes so as i have discussed in the last session also regarding how we need to go about in the introduction like go with some definition data or report and schemes and in the conclusion come up with some practical relevance everything has its own practical relevance don't think that the law if they ask about the mendel's law that is the basis for all the plan building today so that is the relevance so conclude with some relevance for every topic and think about it then you will definitely get uh, for example in the mendel's the genome editing the mode of reproduction selection of the method of breeding okay if they ask about genome uh, genome modification then you can conclude with genome editing that this is a tool which is coming up uh, which which may aid and in future it may lead to uh, like the gm crops also being uh, like uh, be given the regulatory relaxation so such things you can bring about because there is difference between the upsc okay and uh, the curriculum which we you read for agriculture okay so the person who has written mains and given interview uh, he will be having more caliber to tell you what to do otherwise if i tell you like about uh, bsc agree how you have to like uh, write the answer it will be different you just write some definition write full points uh, fill the space and you will get good marks but this is different upsc is completely different so you should be like the uh, in the sphere of having the knowledge which is related to upsc and the mentors who are able to teach you as per the upsc standards and not as per their the general specialist standards okay so then for to target yourself so i'll tell you that target and write as per the uh, test scheduled and uh, try to be perseverant because that is the key for success in upsc and previous year question is the key for uh, everything nobody can match with the previous year question and presently now you can give 30 to 40 percent time uh, newcomers can give up to 50 percent time for the optional and uh, next is regarding the uh, october uh, and november please try to make notes and revise if possible join the series and write this so that after J january you will completely focus on gs so before that try to complete all these things uh, so if anyone is interested then they can ping me or their comment uh, comment in the uh, youtube also so regarding uh, the tests if you want to write many students ask so if you want to write so you can write like as per the schedule you can write the half length test all the full length tests as per the schedule so that you are one way prepared so now if you are like uh, prepared once you have written everything then in the uh, at the time of mains you don't need to do much just uh, uh, at the time of mains you need not do much just uh, focus uh, on uh, uh, few full length tests because see what happens is you just have 60 days so at least you have to write 15 gs tests at least and five essay tests 20 
then uh, five or six or ten uh, optional tests, thirty. So in that sixty days, thirty days, you have to write test, and uh, that is for three hours. So it will be very hectic. So if you are able to complete and make notes, and you are ready now, then it will not harm you when you uh, write the mains. <coughs> so uh, here we can have different uh, ways, like you can have the eight half length and two full length or ten full length uh, uh, tests. So and also uh, like we, we can get it evaluated by the mentors who have at least given UPS interview, uh, not by the uh, the you know, fully completely specialist who may not be aware about UPSC. Those are not given mains. Okay, if you want the daily answer writing also, that is also there uh, that you can see in the group also. Uh, so what, what is the advantage or unique is that the scholars who are there here are like are from IRA and NDRA. You know about the rank. You can go to Google and search uh, what is the rank of agriculture universities. You can see the rank of your like if you have some mentors, you can see the university name and Google and see what is the rank. So the IRA and the NDRA are the top one and two institutes in India. So you can trust the knowledge of them. Uh, try to complete everything by December that is should be the key uh, so if you want like mentorship also uh, some people may need even for gs and optional because uh, that will also be uh, help uh, that will also help you in different manner uh, so many students uh, like were uh, uh, were given guidance for this mains also uh, so you will know it in the coming days also by their results so if you want like mentorship, some students may want mentorship, they ask so that they also can contact so that uh, they prepare well and not only for optional, for GS and optional combined for some telephonic conversation by which they can improve upon themselves because it's very difficult to find uh, who teach you the right guidance because otherwise you have the YouTube and others wherein you will not get the customized uh, teaching experience. So this is brief about me, as I told you earlier. Uh, so the so majorly, I want to focus on these topics uh, and uh, uh, give you all the opportunity uh, for you to participate. So it was in session wherein uh, um, uh, it was yesterday's session's continuation uh, because yesterday many students were uh, unable to attend. Uh, so. Uh, I thank you all for uh, this session and if you need any help or uh, any uh, further thing you can comment below and we can discuss over different issues. Um, you can comment or you can also join our group that is uh, So the name of the channel you can see here. So here you can see the name of the channel of the Telegram group, which you can uh, join, wherein we'll provide you the current affairs and uh, other materials. So if you, as you have seen here, uh, so the, so you can prepare very well. Okay, here you can see the name Agriculture Underscore Optional UPSC, which is guided by the mentors who have given interview. Uh, so all the best uh, and uh, uh, thank you.